Hi, my name is Asha. Welcome to the Mothership. Quick announcement, I'm offering 50% off all of my services until the very last moment of this year. And all you have to do to take advantage of that is when you make your booking, just send me a quick email that uh, tells me what you're booking for and what price you've paid. And this is my way of saying thank you. It's also uh, to provide you an opportunity to work with me and to kind of upshift your ascension path, move your twin flame connection forward. The heart of the reading today, you have the Queen of Diamonds, and you also have the Nine of Diamonds, which is the Hermit card. So you may be in a very comfortable position right now, enjoying your life, your home, your business, whatever it is that you find bliss, contentment, and joy in. And there's also a need to go deeper here. There's a need to really zero in on your internal world, not focusing so much outside of yourself, but taking that time to do your inner healing work right now. So this can be part of you tapping into uh, just that inner space, your sanctuary. For some of you, this is actually going to a location to be in the quiet in the silence and kind of touch the void, being able to make contact with the unknown. So this is all about recharging your batteries right now and learning the things that you need to discover, especially about your own self and your own path. I would challenge you also to follow the link in the description box that directs you to the free site where you can uh, kind of have a step-by-step -step guidance through your own inner healing work. It's a very comprehensive site and you can always book me as well to help you in this. I can always help you to identify those places even within your shadow side that you need to work on so that you can have your full um, connection with yourself, that open channel between uh, your soul and your divine guidance. Well, this is all about doing that deep inner reflection. Divine Feminine, today you have the Queen of Hearts, you have the Ace of Clubs, Eight of Diamonds, and the Six of Spades reversed. So you may have made a conscious shift to move out of things that weren't supporting your growth right now. This could be conscious or uh, seemingly imposed by the universe. But whatever has happened, this is kind of a time period where you're getting back to your own authenticity and kind of back into your heart space and what feels nurturing and abundant to you. And also, this is a brand new start of a business. For some of you, maybe you had to change locations or even move um, from a former job or workplace. But this is about you dedicating yourself and really working on what you love, what you're passionate for. So you may be starting something brand new. For some of you, this is a time of blossoming and really opening up. So you may be even expressing yourself in a brand new way. So let's take a look at the Divine Masculine energies. Do remember that you're both polarities. So both sides of the reading apply to you. You have the Five of Clubs, which is also the Devil card reversed in this deck. You have the Jack of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, and King of Hearts. So for some of you, you might be coming away from things that are toxic or just noticing where your energy has been depleted and maybe giving yourself over to false power, false beliefs, things that really just haven't been uh, good for your growth. And this could also be things that maybe you've just been incredibly tempted by, but you're overcoming those temptations and you're beginning to move towards something that's a little closer to your heart and what you love. For many of you, this is maybe a passionate relationship that you're um, starting with another as well. There's some mirroring going on, so this could be uh, open communication with your twin as well. This is also... I'm hearing spanning the expanses of time. So this is that understanding that 
you're intrinsically connected and that the love shared is eternal. So this is a time of being very compassionate and nurturing and also independent, working very hard creatively, maybe on a business or a new, uh, like I said, new relationship or a, a restart of a relationship. Let's get a few more cards out. Divine Masculine, you have the Blasted Oak. In this deck, this is a combination of the Hanged Man and the Tower. So there may be some things coming that are unexpected for you that may also bring new enlightenment. This is a time of purification. And this could be also maybe what you're realizing with things that you need to let go of and direct your energy in a new way. This is a change in your perspective and a new enlightenment. And this also calls for you to let go of things that you were formerly attached to. You also have the six of bows reversed. This is asking you to focus more on what creates true harmony, true balance, and especially in regards to what you're passionate for. So this is working more diligently on what gives you that fulfillment within your soul and also this is working on reciprocity that give and take equanimity and bringing that balance to all areas of your life divine feminine you have the eight of stones so you have a double card here you have this eight of stones which is also the eight of pentacles so this is calling you to work on your soul's mission. What is your soul's purpose? And this is calling for that skill and precision and ultimate dedication. And this is really perfecting your craft and putting a large portion of your energy towards that. So maybe you're working very diligently, especially on this new beginning and this new passion. You also have the Queen of Vessels. So another double card. The Queen of Vessels is also the Queen of Hearts. This is high nurturance and pre-empress energy. So this is where you're really maybe dedicated to the fruits of your labor. This is also sacrificing for the greater good being a part of that silical nature and giving of yourself, gi giving of your time and energy and nurturing quality, giving your love, pouring your love into situations. But, so for some of you, this is calling for that balance of taking care of yourself in this way and feeding yourself so that you can then also nurture others. Let's get a few guidance cards. I'm using the 13 Moonstone Cosmic Tarot Oracle that I created, and you can get this as a workbook. The workbook helps you to open your intuition to connect more with the tarot and cosmic law, and also uh, guides you in creating your own divination set. Divine Masculine, you have no. So this is awakening, awakening to a new destiny, a new day being reborn from the past, being reborn from the things that have formerly kept you tied, kept you bound, kept you down. And this is also calling you to not question things, but to know, having that assurity within yourself that comes from within, because you're working on yourself and you're working on your own internal alignment and you're doing what's good for yourself. So this is also following the path of your heart and understanding and wisdom of your true purpose. You are the greatest judge of what is best for you. And this is also taking that experience of the life that you've been living and applying the lessons. So this is calling you to rise and awaken. Some of the events you've been uh, passing through, some of these initiations are calling you to a new awakening. 
at the heart. Today we have the shadow. This is again, taking that inner reflection time, noticing where you need to change your perceptions, working diligently, working hard on yourself, doing that self-healing work. I would challenge you to complete lessons one through seven by following the link in the description box to the free site that can help you in your inner healing journey. You can always book me as well. So this is all about not being an ally to negativity, but finding that creative breakthrough, uplifting those lower dense energies within yourself, uplifting other timelines, bring yourself to this more whole and integrated place within yourself. Divine Feminine, you have sacrifice. So this is about bounty, blessings, and understanding that you're a part of the great circle. When we take from the circle, we have to give. So this is also offering, giving that love, giving that unconditioned love without judgment, without attachment, without expectation, and continuing your path, continuing to be dedicated, continuing to move in a direction of your passion and your love and emanating that frequency. So this is also a call to action, not only giving to receive, and returning gratitude to the circle of life, but doing the work that needs to be done. So for some of you, this might be also allowing yourself to be temporarily suspended until a change is more fully manifest. But again, this is shedding your old skin. This is giving away and releasing and giving back to that great circle of life. 